This is the Airlander 10's infamous crash landing. Oh my God, he's actually just broken it. It caused millions of pounds of damage and was watched all over the world. Today, eight months on, she's finally out of the hangar and ready to fly. But no one denies the accident was a hugely expensive mistake. We've spent about £7 million, so about two and a half of that was simply to fix the damage and the rest is to improve it. So we've got an improved landing system, improved ground handling system. You can see the big tracked vehicle in front of the aircraft. Do you think it also cost you in reputation? As far as the incident itself, it's well understood and it's not something that's going to happen again. What makes this aircraft so special is obviously her size. She's 92 metres long, so about the length of a football pitch, can carry up to 10 tonnes of cargo and can also hold enough helium to fill 15 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Since the accident, they've added two giant inflatable feet, which fill with helium to cushion the landing. She could be flying again in the next few days with the same pilots, Simon and David, in charge. Did you feel at all a bit in the doghouse after you crashed it? Obviously, it was a bit of an expensive mistake. Well, the, we, we do flight tests to learn, uh, and there were some, some things that we know we could have done better last time, some bits of equipment that could have worked a bit more uh, effect effectively and more reliably. They believe these aircraft could one day be used for surveillance, haulage, even passenger travel. But for that, they'll first need many successful test flights so the world can forget that famous crash. Olivia Kinsley, 5 News. Oh my God.